Turn it. I'm going to start with no card one through. One second. Kids, join your hands. Everyone, let's. Okay. Namo Ari Hantanam, Namo Sidhanam, Namo Ayyanam, Namo Vajayanam, Namo Loe Sova Sahunam, Eso Panchanamukaro, Sova Pava Panasano, Mangnanam Chaso Vesim, Padamam Hawe Mangalam. Namo Ari Hantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ariyanam, Namo Vajayanam, Namo Lueso Vasahunam, Eso Panchanamukkaro, Sava Pava Pranasano, Mangnanam Chaso Vesim, Padamam Hawe Mangalam, Namo Ari Hantanam, Namo Sidhanam, Namo Ariyanam, Namo Vajayanam, Namo Luiso Vasahunam, Eso Panchanamukkaro, Sova Pava Pranasano, Mangnanam Chaso Vesim, Padamam Hawe Mangalam. All right. Jajan and everyone, how's everyone doing? That everyone is on mute. Okay. Thumbs up, everyone. I forget. We can do that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So today, let's do a little bit of review of what we learned so far for some techno points, and then we'll move on to today's topic. Okay. One second. Okay. So who's going to tell me? the name of the of the two karmas that we've learned so far okay kids you need to click the raise hand button on your screen okay here i have ivan shah you want to answer 140. okay awesome great answer Vivan. that's what we learned okay so who's going to tell me what Gnana Varnya Karma is? Jiya Sancheti, one, 156. Jiya, you can unmute yourself. Gnana Varnya Karma is when you, if, uh, When you, uh, um, do you know what Gnan is? Let's break it down. What's Gnan? Learn. Do you know what Gyan is? Uh, um, earn. Earn. So Gnan has to do with something else. Let's think of okay, what are the two topics that we talked about this week? We talked about something related to our face and what was the other thing that we talked about yesterday was everything there's some things that are on our face and yet on the other day before yes that was yesterday the senses okay okay senses fine that's a different karma and we'll get to that okay can someone else help out gia here for uh for gnana vernia what does that talk about take notes on this gia okay i'll ask yeah. you tomorrow yeah ts 157 you need to write your name okay answer this question TS-157. I wasn't raising my hand. You have the raise hand button on the screen. Mm. I'll lower it, no problem. But you need to add your name before the, after the number, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Arihasha. Arihasha TS one one one. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Okay, Nana Vernia Karma is something when you do, when you do, when you don't respect Gnan. So like sometimes you get, you lose your senses and other times you can't read and do those. Okay, so how, you're close, you're close. Gnana Vernia Karma is when you don't respect Gnan, right? When you don't respect knowledge. So that doesn't have to do exactly with your senses. What was the, which karma was with the senses? There's no vernia karma. Exactly. So there's the separation. Gnana vernia is your knowledge and gnan. And there's no vernia is the senses. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that so that means you won't be able in the so that means you won't be able to read and use the knowledge for yourself. Exactly. For so gnana vernia karma. It could be an an effective gnana vernia karma. Nice. Okay. okay. Good answer. Okay, so now who's going to tell me what is uh, another effect of Gnana Varnia Karma? Or, or sorry, wrong question. W what will you do? What can you do and you will get Gnana Varnia Karma? What do you do and you get Gnana Varnia Karma? Uh, Ariha Javeri, 149. Um, if you chew on a pencil, pencil, then you get Gnana Varnia Karma. Okay, awesome, nice. Someone else, give me another one. Vraj Shah, 152. Um, so in Jan, oh, wait, uh, okay. So in Jan, uh, it's like maybe if you step on a book, and basically it's when you um insult knowledge, like throwing books, stepping on paper, ripping yeah. it, chewing cool. on pencil, that kind awesome. of stuff. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Good. So we got that done. And now, what about how will you prevent Gana Vernia Karma? What will you do so you don't get more of this karma? Tanvi Shah, 101. Beta, can you unmute yourself? Lovely. You respect our Gnan. Okay, how exactly? What will you do? What would you do to respect the gnan? You do good things. Like? You take care of your book. Exactly. That works. And what else? What else you can do? What else can you do? You can... Um... What else you can do? Yeah. What else you can do to respect that? You don't rip the book's paper. Good. Yeah, so no, no ripping paper. Try not to fold paper. Awesome. Good job. Someone else, anyone else have another idea of what we we'll do to respect that? Sign up, Arasmal, 127. So you shouldn't like you should like you should whenever you're studying you should you know maybe eat as you're studying you get gonorrhea karma. Yeah, if you don't yeah if you eat while studying you'll get gonorrhea karma. So don't eat while studying. Awesome. Okay. Uh, someone else. Devam Shah, one one five. Devam. Respect your teacher. What'd you say? One more time. Respect your teacher. Yeah, respect your teacher. Awesome. Okay. So we have we have a really good understanding of Gana Vernia Karma. Good job. So just make it again, respecting our books, not not harassing our teachers, just everything related to knowledge. Gnan means knowledge. So everything related to knowledge. Okay. Next karma. Darshna Vanya Karma. What is Darshna Vanya Karma about? Namra Jain. It's about your sense. Senses, yeah. Specifically, what about your senses? Like, uh, like getting you blindness, deaf. Right, exactly. So? And nose blind. Okay, exactly. So now, 
So those are the effects. So what what will you be doing that causes deafness or blindness or reading of your senses? Sleepwalking. So let's, let's, let's give it to someone else. Okay, uh, Mihit Jain. Me. Go ahead, Mihit, you are unmuted. Meet, you want to say something? Okay, let's go to the other one. Okay. Anshi Parekh, 126. Um, what was the question again? Uh, so, what things will you do that will cause Darshna Varnia Karma, that will cause weakening of your senses? Um, like, you can shout and like get angry and shout at people and then you will lose your sense of um you will you will be um you can't talk in your next breath so the exact sense is taste right and then what do we use to taste our tongue, Our tongue. so we will lose that ability awesome okay someone else yes yeah, she come there 144 um so uh, uh maybe you will like uh you can like purposely um like purposely like like uh, i don't know the word um purposely like listen to people's private talks exactly so you're listening to things you're not supposed to be listening to awesome mm -hmm. that works good answer okay let's have one or two let's have two more and then we're gonna move on Okay, Juhi Parekh, I see your hand raised up. Okay, so if we, uh, if we like, uh, if we um, like touch, uh, like something, uh, like not touch, but uh, if we, um, if, if we like uh, see something we're not supposed to see, like violent or violent cartoons, violent movie. Good, good, exactly. So that's your sense of sight. That's gonna weaken. Awesome. Okay, one more. One more things of how do you get stuck with Deshna Varnia Karma? Yaksha. 112. Can you repeat the question? So, how is one way that you will get Deshna Varnia Karma? Like, if you. If you if you wanted if like if you are at the temple and like someone's doing darshan and you know what them do to darshan, then you awesome. get bad punya. So okay, awesome. Your answer is good. So punya. Now let me just say about your last thing. Punya is good, right? And pop is the bad, right? So you can't punya is not bad. Does that make sense? Yeah, bad pop. So pop is bad. All right, cool. Good answer. I like that answer, especially with the with the derasu. Awesome. Okay, now let's have two ways of how you will prevent this karma. How will you make sure that you don't lose your senses in your next lives? Arna Shah, you want to answer this? 120? Arna Shah. Yeah, so like, um, if you uh, don't if you like, so if there are like books in the floor and you don't step on them, and like if 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 somebody is like um talking, like if somebody is like um on the way and you just like um push them or like be mad at them because um they might by accident they might have um trip and may you trip too that and um you don't scream at and like you don't scream actually at them because they actually screamed at you yeah so you don't scream back at them nice so that's keeping control of that sense good job okay one more how else will you will you keep control of your of your senses to prevent their karma uh 154 keisha One fifty, Peter. Um, 
like showing others their religion and helping them follow it instead of breaking it. Awesome. Great answers, especially the religion one, exactly. So you teach others to follow the religion. Tell them to keep going on with it. Awesome answers, everyone. We've got it on the spot. Okay, now we're going to move on today with the next. And when we start with that, I'm going to start with a little story. All right, so pay attention, everyone. Okay, let me just get... Kids, can you please turn on your videos? If your video is off, you're going to get negative techno points. I am just going to get this set up. One second. Okay, here we go. Okay, can everyone see this? Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's get started with this story. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard it before, but it has, there's some few parts that you might have not known. So let's get to it. Okay, so today is a story about their tanker from the time of their tanker Bhagavan Mahavir, right? One day he was going to a village and on his way, he would have to go through a forest where a poisonous snake named Chandakoshik lived. It was said that Chandakoshik could kill a person or an animal just by casting an evil and angry glance at them. All the people of the villages near the forest lived in absolute fear. When the villagers learned about Mahavir Bhagwan's intention to pass through the forest, they all begged him to take another route. However, Mahavir had no fear. Mahavir Bhagwan practiced supreme nonviolence. He convinced the people that everything would be all right, and he proceeded to the forest where Chanda Koshik lived. So this is the picture. Mahavir Swami Bhagwan is going through the forest, and Chanda Koshik is seeing him. So then what happens? Chanda Koshik sensed that someone had come near his land, so he came out of his burrow. He became furious. How dare he come close to my land? Chanda Koshik started hissing to threaten Lord Mavir. The giant snake became angry, came closer to the Lord and swayed his head, ready to strike. He saw no sign that this man would be threatened or run away. This made Chanda Koshik angrier and spat poisonous venom towards Lord Mavir three times. The venom neither destroyed Bhagwan Mavir nor disturb, disturbed his med meditation. So Chanda Koshik became even more irritated and he bit Lord Mavir's toe. When he looked at the man again, he was surprised to see that not only had nothing happened to him, but instead of blood, milk flowed from his toe. Bhagwan Mavir opened his eyes. He was calm and there was no fear or anger on his face. He looked at Chanda Koshik and said, calm down, calm down Chanda Koshik. Realize what you are doing. There was only love and affection. Chanda Koshik calmed down. And this is when he was thinking about his previous lives. Okay. So pay attention here now, about, specifically about his previous lives. So his first life, Chanda Koshik remembered, he was a very big monk. He was a very big sadhu. But there were some problems with him. He was lacking some things, and we'll see that. So he was a very big sadhu, and he had a young disciple. One day, they both went for alms. They went for gotri. And unknowingly, the, the, big, the head monk, the soul of Chanda Koshik, smashed a frog. And the child monk kept telling him, you need to ask for repentance. You need to ask for repentance. You need to ask for forgiveness, for sorry, for this. And then the head monk, Chanda Koshik's soul said, how dare this child dare say me, say that to me like that? How can this child monk, such a little kid, tell me to ask for forgiveness? How dare you say that? Again, this 
child monk kept reminding him for the repentance of killing the frog. Now the head monk loses his balance and in anger, he decides to strike the child monk with a stick. So he ran after him to strike him, but in the darkness, he crashed with the pillar and died in a state of anger. Okay, then he's reborn. This time he's also a big leader of a different caste, of a Hindu group of monks. And he has, a, he has his own farm. But from his previous birth, he brought this anger with him. And some boys used to steal fruit from his farm. And he was always in anger with these boys. Was that anger, and he was like, how can these boys steal fruit from my farm? My farm, how can they do this to me? I'm such a big farmer. This is my farm. How are they stealing this fruit from my farm? One day he decided to catch these boys and punish them. So he lurked behind the tree and waited for them. He was holding an ax. And as soon as he got the chance, he rushed towards those boys. But unfortunately, he fell down and the own ax pierced into his head. And he died in that state of anger again. And because of this, in that state of anger, he was born as this snake, Chandakoshik, who could kill anyone just by looking at them with the ferocious glance. So after he was, after Chandakoshik thought about these, he went back to his hole and put his head inside the hole. Well, the body remained outside. Some people forgave him and they were giving him milk and fruits, whereas others, were upset that Chandakoshi killed their families. So they were throwing rocks at him. But no matter what happened, Chandakoshi suffered through it all and he remained peaceful after this whole scenario. Okay. So can someone tell me what are the, there are two main things. Can someone tell me one main thing that led to Chanda Koshik having this nature of wanting to kill everyone. Did everyone get the story? Did it all make sense? Shreyansha138, you want to answer that? I see your hand raised up. Okay. There was a question again. Yeah, Shreyansha138. The question is, I talked about two major things that led to Chanda Koshik in his lives that caused him to have, uh, to, to um, be rude and wanting to kill so many people in his life. What were those two things? Tell me one of those things, if you can remember. Uh, one of them was the, when he was a monk, he crushed a frog and then the little child monk was telling him to give, uh, forgive the frog. And uh, so he thought of, um, something happened, he thought, I think, he tried killing the child monk, right? Yeah. And then he just crashed into the pillar and he died. Okay. And in his second life, he was a farmer and um, there were some kids who were stealing his fruits and one day he thought he should punish those boys, whoever was doing it, and he took an ax and when he saw the boys, he got, the, on the first chance, he went to go for them and the, his own ax smacked under his head. Exactly, okay. So we have, we have the two stories down of his previous lives. Now can someone tell me, what was he feeling in those lives that might have caused him to become this Chandako shik? Someone else. Thank you, Shreyan, for that. Mihit Jain, 136. He was feeling angry. Angry. Awesome. Anger. That's number one. Nice job, Mihir. Anger is one of the biggest reasons he became Chanda Koshik. And there's one more reason. It's a little bit less subtle, but let's see if we can figure it out. Does someone else have any other ideas besides anger? Manasvi Shah, 158. Um, what was the question? So uh, we had Mihit just answer. So we had Shreyan first tell us about the two lives of Chandra Koshik, right? And mm -hmm. he was explaining to us about 
how he was the monk in the first life and then the farm owner in the second one. And Mihit was telling us that anger was there in both of those lives that caused him to become this snake. And there's one more thing that was in those lives that might have also caused him to become this snake. Do you have any idea what that other feeling might be? I think it was because in each life he wanted to um, kill someone. Like in the first life he wanted, he tried to kill a frog. In the second life, he tried to get the boys. Okay, so the first life, he killed the frog by, um, by mistake. He wanted to kill the other little monk. But he did all of that in, in anger, right? That's what Mihir yeah. said. Was he, there was something other else that he was feeling. Let's see if someone else caught it on. Yeah, you're, you're Risha, 131. Um, he had ego. Awesome, awesome. Ego. Okay, can someone else tell me what do they know what ego means? What is ego? Namra? Namra Jain. 134. You want to yeah. answer? Number, are you there? I think your your microphone is not working, my dude. Let's move to the other one. Okay. Try to Arihan fix Jen, 148. Ego is when you like feel pride and then you're like, um, I'm bigger than someone, so I should be more great. Awesome. There we go. That's what ego is. Okay. So that's, so good job, everyone. We got the stories and we understood that anger and ego was the reason that Chanda Koshik was born as Chanda Koshik. And no matter what he did in the end, he still had to suffer. Even though he stopped killing people, he was still beaten by sticks by the people. So the effect of his karmas was still there towards the end. Okay. Good job, everyone. So let's get into our discussion about anger and ego for today. Okay. All right. So tell me what's going on in this first picture. What are we looking at? Uh, we can pick on someone. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. He, uh, he has anger in his mind. Yeah, he has anger in his mind. Okay. Why is that? Who, who answered it? Uh, Rishibha. Rishibha. Okay, 130. Anger. Anger in his mind, right? He's, he might be ang angry at someone. Okay, what about the second, the second one? I mean, this is pretty clear. We can all read it, but someone can still go for it. Dear uh, Shah. Can you unmute yourself, Dia? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Dia. Question. The question is, what is? Can you see what's what's going on in the second picture? Mm. We can read it. Ego. Ego, right? And what did we say ego was? I think I went to the restroom for that part because my video was off because I went to the restroom. Okay. Do you know what ego is then? No. No? Okay. Can someone else help her out? What did we just say that ego is? Aman Mehta. You answer and you need to straight, straight, beta. Ego is you're filled with pride to think you're bigger and better at someone. Okay. Bigger. And better. 
than someone. Awesome. Okay, and well, what do you think is happening in the picture? He's carrying, he's dragging ego. What, what do you think that represents? Do you think that represents something? What is it doing? That he's carrying ego with him to he's think ego he's the him. bigger, he's the better one. Yeah, right? So the, he thinks he thinks he's better than all carrying this big ego with him. Awesome. Okay. All right, what's going on here? Devamsha. They're angry to each other. They're angry at each other, right? So they're they're angry at each other. And okay, what other karma did we talk about where maybe this could also come into play? Being angry and yelling at someone. There's no other karma. Nice job. Okay, awesome. Yelling at each other. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about the karma a little bit. Okay. So this karma is called Moinya karma, right? And it's known as the king of all our karmas, right? Everyone got it? Moinya karma, right? So what does it do? You know, it's for people with a lot of anger, greed, ego, and deceit. We'll get to those uh, tomorrow. So these people who have a lot of this and can keep having a lot of this, it brings them away from our Jain religion. It, it brings them to think that, you know, maybe the Jain religion is not right. This is what happens automatically when we have a lot of anger, greed, ego, and deceit. The, it destroys faith. It destroys the power that we have in our Dutankars. So that's what we're going to talk about. Anger, greed, ego, and deceit. It creates doubts about the religion and destroys faith in their Dutankars. Does that make sense to everyone? Thumbs up if that makes sense. Or does anyone have any questions on that? Cool. So it's the king of all karma. So now, if you're destroying faith in your religion, then you're not even thinking about the other karmas themselves because you, some people might not be thinking about that. So we, we need to first control these, these four things. And once you start controlling these, then it'll become easier to control all of the other things as well. Awesome. Okay. So with that, let's go back to here. So let's talk about what happens after you get angry at someone. What are the effects of being angry? Does anyone have any ideas? Rishisha, 157. When you get angry at someone, you're like, it's like when, like, someone's getting mad at you, and then you're just dumping it all on someone else. You're dumping it all on someone else. Okay, so that's what anger and angriness is, like being angry is. But maybe in the long term, if, if we can come up with this together, I can give us, but I want to see what we can do together. What do you think in the long term? What could being angry cause? Like, what if you're angry at some of your friends? What could that happen? What could happen? Like, you guys might not be friends anymore. Exactly. So, you're losing friendships. That could be one major thing of being angry. Losing friendships. Losing friendships. Or, or just, or relationships in general. Okay. Um, someone else. Does anyone else have another thing? Prakrit Jain, 135. What was the question again? The question is, what happens after you get angry at someone? So when we first said that you could lose relationships or friendships in general. If you're, if you're a very angry person, then people might not want to be friends with you. What else, what else could you think could happen? Like, you go out of control and then you start talking things that you don't really mean. Right. You could say things that you don't really mean. Start saying things that you do not really mean. Right? And then again, that could also lead to losing friendships or relationships. 
Okay, awesome. How about, how about, uh, okay, how about, do people want to talk to people? Do people want to help you if you're an angry person? What do you think? If I'm angry, if I keep screaming at you guys, do you want to be here and listen to me? No, right? So that's another thing, right? No one wants to help an angry person. If I'm constantly screaming at you, you guys are going to just complain and no one's going to come back tomorrow, right? Exactly. So we don't want that. So no one wants to help an angry person. Okay. Someone else. Well, let's think about what the story we just said. You know, Dunda Koshik was angry in a lot of a lot of the stories that we talked about a lot of his lives so what do you think about this anger what, what can it have what consequences can it have in that regard let me know if that question didn't make sense ayush but i see him jumping on his bed with his hand raised okay go for it <laughs> thank, thank you from the beginning thank you um uh, nobody would like to be in general you just don't want to be with them you don't want to be with them no right? one's going to go near them so there's no chance of anybody helping him. Yeah. Or no one wants to help. Nobody will, nobody will go near you. Okay, we're going to add that here. Okay. You, you get bad karma. And you also get bad karmas. So bad karmas. And then can you tell me how that bad karma was very evident? Or like was, it was very clear in the story we just learned about. Do you remember? Gender kosher? Yeah. So Moh- Mohania or... It was it was experienced in Chandrakoshi's anger. He had so much anger, it just right. transforms him into snakes and all exactly. sorts of exactly. bad livings. Good, awesome. Because the anger, because the karma is taken with him. Perfect. There you go. That's the answer. The karma is taken with him to his next life. So this anger continued. That's what we noticed. The anger started. Uh, it started in the first life when he was that month and then it went back when he was a farm herd and then it was also there when he was a snake so the anger will continue down with you down the road good answer i love it okay i have one more option i mean i'm pretty sure there's a, a lot of other things that could happen if you get angry at someone, but I know we have a still a few more hands. So let's see what other people have to say. Uh, I want to go ahead with uh, Ashi, 118. Can you answer better? What was the question? So what happens after you get angry at someone? We have four things up on, on the screen, if you can see, right? You can lose friendships already. You might start saying things you don't mean. Then you, nobody wants to help you if you're angry. Anger will continue through your next lives. And then let's see if you can come up with one more. Um, so like if you get angry at someone, like the other person will get mad at you because uh, you did, you like told them something bad. Okay. So I like that point that you made. And that's something I want to talk about is that you might cause anger in someone else, right? So exactly. That means that you're, you're putting more karmas in them. You help them. So this is some word that we call it in in Gujarati. It's called Karayvyu. Karayvyu means that I help someone else do something bad. So I help someone else get angry and that's not something we want to do. So that's also a really good answer. Thank you for that. Right? So becoming angry might strike anger in someone else and we don't want to do that we want to make sure that everyone is living in this form of balance so striking anger in someone else okay awesome all right so how can we work to prevent anger how what will we do to make sure that we're not going to get angry anymore does anyone have any ideas or at least start controlling our anger a little bit uh, I'll go ahead with the uh, 156, Jia Sancheti. Um, what was the question again? What can you do to control or prevent getting angry? You could control or prevent to get angry by calming yourself down when 
When something happens. Calming yourself down, right? Calming yourself down. Telling, telling yourself. So keeping that control, keeping that mindset, keeping that mindset to, to stay calm. I know this is easier said than done, but we have to at least try. Okay, someone else. Uh, 153, Tanisha. Yes, what was the question? The question is, what do you think can you do to prevent getting angry at others? Um, so, like, technically just calm yourself down, down and forget about the anger. Yeah, so how, how will you forget about it? What specifically will you do to forget about it? Calming yourself down. Do you have any ideas on how specifically you can do that? Um, a little bit harder, I know, but let's see if we can. Just like go outside and take a deep breath. Okay, calming yourself down. Deep breaths. I'm going to that here. Okay. These are all immediate actions that we can do. So, so there's a few other things. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, someone else. Brockbridge, Brockbridge really wants to, wants to go. He already answered once. Okay, okay. How about... Um. 140, Vivancha. Forgiving others. Awesome. Great answer. Forgiving others. I like that. Forgiving others. Forgiving others, you know? Thinking about what just happened and saying sorry for that. I'm sorry for what just happened. Good. Okay. Let's come up with with one more and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Um, 143 Mahir. You have to say three no car. Three no car. So what do you think what do you think that will do? What is, is it three no saying three no cars is gonna help you do? Because that helps your mind get distracted. Okay. Saying no car. So it's going to help you calm yourself down and think about this. You know, the anger is not good for us. It's helping them. Right now. Okay. Saying three no cars. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. And I think the parents will like this one. Uh, so in India, whenever we go and when we talk about tomorrow type about this, they always give one example of anytime someone tells them that they have anger issues. So what do you know what they tell the parents? They tell every time the parent gets angry, they have to put a hundred dollars in a jar. They have to put a hundred dollars in the jar. And and after and after a certain amount of time, they have to give all that money away to charity. So you know, keeping that that anger away from them. That's another thing. Maybe you can tell yourself that every time I'll get angry, I'll do something. It might be something you don't want to do. Right, and then you give yourself a task to do when you when you get angry. So that way, it'll help you control yourself. Does that make sense? Okay. So giving yourself a task to do, a task to do, to keep yourself in control. Awesome. Okay. Good. So we got what happens if you get angry at someone, and then how will you prevent anger? Okay. How? Let's do ego now. What are the effects of ego? What are the bad things that can happen if you have a high ego? And it could be similar to, to, to anger. So, uh, Alay Shet, you need to turn on your video and you can answer this. Alay 122. Okay, I don't think he wants to answer. Let's move to the next kid. Uh, 139. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Who's this, Alay? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So what was the question again? What are the negative effects of having ego, a high ego? So the negative effects of having ego is um, that friends, you... The friends you have will go away because you're going to be like super mad at them every time. Okay. And 
So let's 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 talk about that. Right, you're right. Losing friendships and relationships. But what do we say ego is? Do you remember what we said having ego is, LA? Ego is like when you are super mad. So, so anger is mad, right? Anger is mad. Yeah. What did we say ego was? Can can we can someone help LA out? LA, let's let's listen to what other people are saying. What what ego is? Who's gonna help out? What's ego? Mahi, Shirowala, 139. What? Um, if you, uh, if you, like, have so much ego, somebody will, will not talk to you because you have so much ego in it. Okay. Yeah. What did we say ego was, Mahi? What is ego? What did we say it was? Do you remember? Yes, it was like you are so pride, pride of some, some uh, yourself. So proud of yourself, having a lot of pride. Okay. A lot of pride, having a lot of pride. I am better than others. Okay. Okay, so losing friendships and relationships. So people won't want to talk to you because you have too much ego. They want to be around. People will not want to talk to you. Okay, someone else. Jaina Usha, 110. <laughs> You know, okay, yeah. Jenna. Ego is when you get super angry. Okay, so we talked about anger, right? Anger and angry. Do you see the similarity between those two words, anger and angry? Jaina. Ego is when you get bad, Punya, and it will follow in your next life. So, yeah, that could happen when you have a lot of ego. You'll get pop and it will follow in your next life. But we just said, can you, we just said that ego, what is, what is ego? We talked about it. And it's up on the screen too. You have a lot of pride. Exactly. So thinking that you are better than others. So what is the problem with that? What could happen as a result of thinking that? People will not want to play with you. Yeah, exactly. So losing friendships. People will not want to talk to you or play with you. Okay. For sake of time, I'm going to do one or two things and then we'll go from there. Okay. So there is this really cool thing that we can remember. It's called DEF. D-E-F. Okay. So I'm going to D and then E and then F. Right. So having a lot of ego will make you deaf like this D E F and let's let's break those letters down. What do those letters mean? Okay. So the first one is it's gonna prevent your development. What does that mean? That means that you know you're always gonna think that whatever I do is the best. The way I'm doing it right now is the best way to do it. So there's no other better way. So you're not gonna get better. Because there are better ways, but you're just telling yourself that, no, I'm the best. This is the way I want to do it. So you're preventing that development. You're preventing yourself from getting better and moving up. Okay. E, and we talked about this. E and F go together, right? You form more enemies and friends. Your friends become your enemies. So this is a cool way to remember the, the negative effects of my DEF. The development has gone down. You're making more enemies and you're losing more friends. Okay, cool. That makes sense, everyone. Thumbs up if everyone got that. Awesome. Okay, let's give me uh, two or three ways to prevent ego. What can we do to control our ego? Arman Parikh, 109. Uh, please turn on your video, beta, and answer this. My video, uh, my computer doesn't let me turn on my video. It's like broken. Okay. That, okay, go ahead. Answer this. So, uh, 
we don't we hello yeah he's he's thinking i think yeah any ideas should we come back to no. you you want us to come back to you yes okay we'll come back to you maybe for this or the next activity okay we'll come back okay who's who 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 else who's next one day mahir mahir go ahead 143 you can prevent ego by by um not 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 saying that you're the best yeah so telling yourself that you know telling telling yourself that you're not the best you know you know what you the, can say you can say that i can still learn that exactly so the 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 one or two words to describe that is called having an open mind right open mind and you know what that means is keeping yourself open to everyone's ideas saying that oh maybe that what that person is telling me that could also be a good idea maybe he's also right so it's called being open mind listening to others ideas good awesome okay so Some, someone else another way to prevent man arman bandari go ahead i'm sorry uh, arman you want to go ahead again did you remember now what your answer No. Um, you still thinking? Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, no problem. Go ahead with the next one. Um uh, re- yeah. respect yeah. the others. Respect others. In- yeah, okay. So, specifically respecting others, uh I'm going to say something. So, if you don't like someone especially, right? Sometimes that might increase your ego. Like, I don't like this person. No, I'm better than that person. you want to look for the good in them you want to say something good about them like oh you know maybe they are actually good at that thing you know i'm just not i'm not thinking about it because i don't like them right so respecting others saying good about everyone around you okay great all right one more and then we're going to do the one last activity in the last 5 minutes uh yaksha 112 yaksh beta yeah go ahead so like when you when you like when you like angry and someone like your friend you have to and you just scream at them like random words like bad words and then you just calm down okay so yeah calming down we talked about that's right for anger right but what are we talking about right now we're talking about ego right is that that's what we're talking about ego right now. right what what do we say ego is make your moral make your morals right so establishing your morals that's a good idea that's a good answer you know sticking establishing your morals telling yourself that you know having this high ego uh, big ego is not a good thing and do you know what ego is yaksh what is ego ego is like ego is something like you're better at so, like you're you just like you're just better than someone you don't like You don't look at the good things, you look at the bad things. Yeah, you only think of yourself as better than than others. Okay. Awesome answer, right? So establishing more rules. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we have this down. We talked about anger and what happens when you get angry at someone, how you prevent anger and the effects of man and preventing ego. Okay. Now we have a three three examples here and then we'll come up with three of our own examples together. and let's do this whole cloud and app activity so i have the first sentence here right and someone tell me whether it's a good thing or a bad thing and which one is it is it krodh which means anger or man which is ego okay who's going to tell me about this first one um, sam angry at raj for bumping into him 
ओके निरेक टी एस वन जीरो फोर बेटा यू वॉन्ट टू आंसर ओके लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन आर ओ शाह वन फिफ्टी इट इज इट इज एंड एंड वाई इज इट एन एप वॉट इज इट रिलेटेड टू बिकॉज सेम गंग्रीपिंग इन टर्न एंग्री इज and the example is then the word exactly in the gujarati word for it is called it's scroll broad. awesome so this one is an app let me just mark that to border okay cool okay next one my neighbor got a dynami new... you want to go at 121 yeah yeah i'm going to just read it really quick so everyone can hear it my neighbor got a new sports car and i go buy an even better one just to show that i'm better That's an app. That's an app. And what is that related to? Which which one of the two things we talked about today? Ego. Ego. Awesome. So it's something that we don't want to do. Okay. Cool. This third one. All right. So we have two things going on here, and I want you to tell me who is there's both. Who is the cloud and who is the app? So Dave thinks his ideas are always better than. Is always the best, and no idea can be better than his. But Tia is open to all options and is willing to listen to everyone's project ideas. So who is who? Yashmi. Um. So um, he um is doing ego because he um is like um not getting angry, but he's trying to show that he. He's better. Wait, wait. So who's he? There's two people here. There's Tia and Dave. Okay, so, Dave. Dave, right? Dave has has ego. So he's the he's the app or the club. Um, app. Right. So Dave is the app, right? Because he has that that ego. And then, can someone tell me why will Tia be the cloud? What is good about her that's making her the cloud? Cause she's um open to listen to everyone's ideas. Tia, okay, cool, okay. So cool, okay. Now we have two or three more, whatever we can get through in the time. Can someone come up with their own examples or their own sentences and tell me whether they're a cloud or an app? Does anyone have any ideas on them? Nilay, one one six Nilay. I see your hand raised. Yeah, hand raised. Um. So you think some? Uh, you think you're you're better, taller than somebody else? You're taller. You're better because you're taller. Yes, that's that's, that's ego. Good. I think I am better. I am better than someone because I'm taller than them. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> so that's ego, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? A cloud or not? Nile, bad thing. You're on mute. Oh, he's on mute. So it is bad app. It's the app. Awesome. We got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Someone else. Another sentence. Um. Okay. Palash. He's jumping on his bed again. Okay. One zero five. Palash Doshi. There you are. Your your neighbor gets a new car, and I and I'm going to get a newer one. Okay. Well, okay. We already had that example, Palash. We already had that. I, 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 I talked about that one. Can you come up with something else, something new? I, my, my friend got three, three toys, and I'm going to buy four just to show that I have more. 
Awesome. My friend got three toys. And I'm going to to get four to show I am better and I have more. Okay, so what is that? What is that? Is that anger or ego? And ego. Is that ego, right? And that, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Okay. So we're gonna do that here. Okay. Can someone think of a cloud? Oops. Can someone think of a cloud example for anger or ego? We have two apps. Shree one thirty eight. Um. You could say. We can share these toys, so I guess, so I don't have, I don't have to go. Like, I want to have to, I want to, like, someone want to buy and put toys if they share it. We can it's, share toys. That's good, right? So when we share toys, what is that preventing? What is that preventing us from thinking? Who, who is talking? Who just gave me that answer? Um, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so if 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 I say okay, how about we share toys? Like you can also play with my toys. What 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 um, what is that preventing? Any ideas? It's preventing, like, wait, would that be ego? No, right? It's ego. Yeah, ego. No, it's ego. I can give you a hint saying that, you know, these are not all my toys, right? So if, if, if I didn't want to share, I would say these are all my toys. These are not yours. So how are you preventing that? It's selfish, I think. Say that again, I couldn't hear you. Selfishness. Right, you're not being selfish, right? You're saying that, okay, exactly. So. You're, you're not being selfish. You're saying that we can all share my toys. These are not only mine. We are, they're all to share. These are not better than yours or anything. Awesome. So that's a good one. We can share toys. Saying that we are all able to use these. They're not better than yours. Okay. And that is a good thing. Good job. And okay. Cool. So that is a cut. And that's all we had for today. I don't know if the Tapolan team is here yet for the next session. But if people still want to share their their uh, sentences and whether they think of cloud or an app, we can still do that for a little bit until the other guys come. One second. We 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 hand one one seven. Your hand is raised up, beta. That I have a app question. Yeah, go for it. That if you uh push someone from a mountain to the, in the sea and they didn't know how to swim then. Okay, so do you think that's, okay, so do you think they'll get ma mad at you? Do you think they'll get angry at you for that? Yes. Right, so you're, you're, in, you're, you're causing them to get angry. Good at the good one, that's an app, right? So I'm not getting angry, but I'm causing someone else to get angry at me. That's also a bad thing. I like that, very good, good job. Okay. Uh, is the Tapo one team here? Uh, uh, I see Tapo one logged in. Uh, they're here, but they're they're muted. Okay, that's fine. Is uh, I think next is my three. Is that correct?
Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I think I think there she's here. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone liked that. We're gonna do review. Hello, again. Pranav Bhai. Jai Jinendra. Jai Jinendra. How are you doing? How are my kids? Everyone's doing well. I hope they enjoyed today. What story did we learn about today? Uh huh. Are you Who's gonna say what story we learned about today? Uh huh. Oh, well, look, everyone. Knows. Okay. Chand um, uh, Nice. Oh, and, wow. And, Very nice. And what are the two things about Chand Do you like that story? Awesome. Thumbs up, everyone. Thumbs up. Uh, Pranav, uh, your, your uh, screen is still shared. Oh, no, sorry. sorry. No, that's fine. You're okay. Okay. We're good. Yeah. And I can we make my three payment and stop by? Yeah. Kate, okay, say thank you to Pranav. Thumbs up, everyone. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Say thank Pranav. You. Oh, <laughs> man, okay. Thank you, Pranav. Bye. Thank you. Okay. okay, so kids, are you doing good? Yes, no? I want to see. I want to nod see your smile. head, nod your head. On your face, smile. Mommy. Smile. Mommy. Smile. Ah. Yes, ah. very good. So, now we'll do one story. Another story. Oh, oh. today two, two stories. This story is very interesting. I'm very sure about it. So let us start the story. Yes, no? Yes, no? Are you all ready? Okay. So today we are going to do a story about Shrenik Maharaja. Okay. You want to let do the chapter? Let me know. I'll help you. Okay. First of all, let us join our hands and do wonder to our Guru Ma Chandra Shri Everyone, on your hands, please go down to our Guru Ma. Okay, today we are going to talk about Shani This story happened. This is about a uh, 2,500 years. And there was a very. I think our voice is cracking. Am I. Uh, Maitri Ben, uh, I think tomorrow I will give the Rabani out of the internet connection to Rui Lage. Okay, uh, take a second. Am I audible now? Can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. If you have double devices, if you're not doing like this, then there is an echo. And now am I audible? Yes. Is it fine now? Oh, it, yeah, um, it seems fine. Okay. So today we are going to talk about training. This is a story which uh, which is about 2,500 years back when Mare Sami Brahman was alive. So there was a very big Age. There was a very big country named Magadh, and Shrenik Maharaja was king of this Magadh Desh, Magadh country. And this Shrenik Maharaja had passion of hunting. One day he saw a giant monk, and he thought that hey, he looks very, very handsome. Then why he has taken diksha? Why he left the sansa? Why he left materialistic world? So he went there 
and he gave bandhan to that sadhu mahasaya he just joined hands and he asked mahasaya why have you taken diksha then jain sadhu mahasaya gave him knowledge about jainism this is how shanik maharaja came to know about jainism am i going is reading all right am i audible i see uh it's not very clear for some reason um ane kadach thoro background ma pan thoro noise che um ek Uh, can you try without the headphone? I'm not sure if that works. Am I audible now? Ah, uh, they are better, Jay. Yeah, it's better. Okay, okay. Then wait, please. Sorry. Okay. okay no problem. Hello. Is it all right? Ha, huh, I think that's better. Okay, okay, yeah. So, uh King uh shrenik maharaja came to know about jainism this is how and now he wanted to know uh, he wanted to know more about jainism so he went to bhagwan mahavir ji and then he asked ki bhagwan i want to know more about jainism and then he became bhakta of mahavir sai bhagwan he used to go uh, used to go some of us and he in fact started following jainism so one finally he was sitting and he thought that okay, for how many years i will 80 years 100 years 50 years but what after that one fine day i will die and then what where will i go what will be my next book oh my god then he got very scared then immediately he said i want to go to meet bhagwan mahavir ji please mantri ji prepare and arrange my rath i want to go to prabhu ji i want to go to meet prabhu ji then he came to mahavir sami bhagwan and then he asked for one for one i have one question can i ask you mahavir ji say yes why not jane ka master maharaj say bhagwan you are kevad gyan you know everything you are sarvagnya Bhagwan, please, can you see what will be next book after dying here? Where I will go, Bhagwan? Bhagwan said, "Okay." Bhagwan closed his eyes and he both had and he explained to Shrenik Maharaj as a head, Shrenik Maharaj, in the next life you will go into the first Narak, first Narak Mata Meja show. So Shrenik Maharaj was what in first. I think it disconnect kai gaya. Ah, I see. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. I think you got disconnected for for a minute. So, uh, what was my last sentence? Can you please tell me? Um. So, uh, uh, Bhagwan Mahavi says that uh, you go to the first Narak, and that was the last. Okay. So, uh, Shri Maharaj said, "What? In the first Narak? No, Bhagwan, no. I don't want to go in Narak. There will be Parmagami. 
They will hurt me. They will give me pain. They will give me punishment. No, Bhagwan, no. I don't want to give you. No, no, no. And Bhagwan said, it is karma thing. It is your karma. You need, you have to go into the world. No one can run from it. Then Shri Maharaja said, no, Bhagwan, you are, you have superpowers. You can tell me that. You, you must have the options. You must have the ways. Please, Bhagwan, tell me. Bhagwan, please tell me. The way, the way by which I can relieve from another. Then Bhagavan said, ki, No, it is not possible, Shainik Maharaja. Then also Shainik Maharaja was not. Then Shainik Maharaja said, Tell me what way at least. Then Bhagavan Maharaja said, Okay, fine, I'm telling you. Okay, then. Am I Yes, you're, you're audible, but uh, for some reason it's not very clear. Um, yeah, I'm talking with Arpit Bhai right now to see what can be done. Um, but but is, is there like, uh, like is there um, like other place in your area where there is a good connection? Because I'm here seeing the low bandwidth on my end from your side. Like it shows me a couple of red bars. So it looks like uh, your internet connection may not be that good. Oh, okay. It, it just remain us. My three and Tamaru internet wired connection check is on the Wi Fi. Uh, so, Tamaru wired one, it's more reliable. I mean, if you want to try that one, if you can. Yeah, we're trying our best for it. Yeah. But am I on can we just uh, take two three minutes here? Then yeah, I'm shifting to. Uh, yeah, but still, our voice I think break uh, Yeah. Uh oh. -uh. Okay, I think while the my trip my trip is shifting to another room. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, they can, they can ask our moderators. You can raise your hand, kids. Click on the raise hand button. Am I audible? Is it fine now? Yeah, I think. Yeah. The, yeah. So far, yeah, so far is good. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Sharik Maharaja, he, he, he requested a lot. Bhagwan, please, please, please. Then Bhagwan said, okay, fine, I'm telling you. So Bhagwan said, first option is you go to Kapila Das and you convince her to do that to needy people. And second option is you have to go to Kal Saudika side and you have to convince him to not killing any buffaloes just for one day, just for a single day. Okay. But if this both ways doesn't work, if this both plans fails, then you can go to Punya Shrava and ask him to give you just a one Samai full of his Samai. Because he does Samai with his very pure mind and heart. He doesn't do any pub during the Samai. So if you can get one Samai full from Punya Shrava, you can get freed from first manner. Then now, Punya Shra, then Shani Kumaraja was optimistic. Okay, fine. Now I can do something for saving my next life. Next life. So, Tara immediately he went to uh, Kapila. He went to meet Kapila Dasi, and then he uh, he said, Kapila Dasi, uh, where are you? And then Kapila Dasi came and Kapila Dasi uh, convinced Kapila Dasi to do that. But Kapila Dasi was very, very conscious. She was, she was a very big miser. 
So she never does that. She doesn't like to give anything to anyone. So even though if you give, I am giving you dollars, you just give to needy people. But she will say, no, I will not do that. I don't like to do that. So Shani Maharaja said, you see Kapila Dasi, you have to do it. So Kapila Dasi couldn't deny. So Kapila Dasi took uh, Sharik Maharaja, made him servants to make a key. And then he gives, let me share the screen first. Kapila Dasi. And he said, just you have to do that. I will give you things. I will give you key. You just have to give needy people. That's it. Then Kapila Dasi said, okay, fine. Then uh, there were so many needy people and Kapila Dasi was giving. But in her, in her mind, she was thinking, no, no, no. I'm not giving that. My hand is giving that. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. This fool is doing that. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Shrenik Maharaja is doing that. So, even though she was doing that, her intention was not good. So, that's why he can, she cannot get any punya. And then, uh, but Shrenik, Shrenik Maharaja doesn't know that Kapila Dasi, in her mind, she was thinking like that. So, Shrenik Maharaja was like, okay, I made her to do that. So he, uh, Shrek Maharaja went to Prabhuji and he said that one, Kapila Dasi did that. Then Bhagavan said, you think that Kapila Dasi did that. But actually, while doing that, Kapila Dasi, Kapila Dasi's intention was not good. She was thinking that I'm not doing that. So it doesn't get any gain. You don't get any advantage. So then Shrek Maharaja got very depressed. He became sad. So now, okay, I ask you another option. So he ordered his soldiers that go to that Asuric Kazai and may stop him from killing 500 Makilos. Now let me tell you who is Kal Saurik Kazai. So Kal Kazai was a butcher. He kills 500 buffaloes every day. Is it fine right now, Chaital Bhai? Yes, yes, it is better. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Another Kaipan disconnection. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, Shredek Maharaja ordered his soldiers and uh, tell them just to go to Kasai's place and stop him. That he and make sure that he doesn't kill any buffaloes, just for one day, just for one day. So soldiers went to Kalsuri Kasai's place, and then he ordered Kasai, Kalsuri Kasai, that you cannot kill any buffalo just for one day. You have to stop it. Then Kalsuri Kasai, it is not possible. I will kill buffaloes. Ah, it is my passion. I will kill them. Then soldiers said, you cannot refuse, you can deny us. This is order from King Shrenik Maharaja. You can't deny us. Then also, uh, Kalsarik Kasai was very stubborn. Then soldiers caught him. And then, what they did? They hanged him upside down in the well. So, he would not, he would not be able to kill any buffaloes. Are you getting students? Do you understand the story? Yes, no, please show me your thumbs up. Okay. Are you all clear? Okay. So, and this is how he was hanged up in the upside down in the well. So now, when the day got over, now Shrenik Maharaja was very relaxed. Okay, fine. Now, Kasaurik Kasai 
didn't kill any buffalo on this day. So he went to Prabhuji and he said, Bhagwan, I'm very happy because now I will not go to Mosh. Then Bhagwan said, Wait, Shranik Maharaja, wait, calm down. You think that Kev Dal Saurik Kasai didn't kill any buffaloes. But when you hang him upside down, upside and down, he drew buffaloes in that sand. And he scratched it and he thought that, yes, I'm killing one buffalo. Yes, this is second buffalo I'm killing. This is third buffalo I'm killing. And this is how he killed 500 buffaloes. Though he didn't kill it physically or in reality. But with his intentions, with his mind, he killed 500 buffaloes. So, Shahid Maharaja again got very sad. Uh oh, now what I will do? Now, the last hope was Punya Shrava. So, now he went to Punya Shrava's place. Who was Punya Shrava? Punya Shrava uh, was a merchant, but he was staying in very small, tiny hut. Okay, he was staying in very small, tiny hut. He was not storing anything. He just asked, which is enough for him and his wife. Only they both were living with each other. No one else was there. So, Punya Shavak, when he does Samai, he does it with very pure heart and mind. So, uh, King Shrenik said, okay, I want to go to meet Punya Shavak. So, he reached to Punya Shavak. Punya Shavak and Shrenik Maharaja, thumbs up. Show me your thumbs up, please. Okay. And then, Shrenik Maharaja, when reached to Punya Shravak, sir, Punya Shravak got surprised. What? Shrenik Maharaja, the king of the Magad, at my heart, at my this tiny heart? Oh my God, I cannot imagine. Shrenik Maharaja came inside the house, inside the heart, and Shrenik Maharaja said, hey, Punya Shravak, I want something from you. Punya Shravati, Rajaji, I'm so so poor. I don't have anything to give you. What I will give you? You are the king of this kingdom. Shrenik Maharaja said, but I want just your one Samaik full. Can you please give me just your single Samaik full? Punya Shravati, was thinking, what? You want my stomach full? No, 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 Rajaji. I cannot give you that. Then Shalit Maharaja said, but I want that. I just need your single. You don't do so many stomachs every day. If you give me one stomach, then that will show yourself. That I'm so good to yourself. But Punya Shavak said, okay, I cannot give you still. Then Shalit Maharaja said, okay, I will give you my 10 cities. I will give you my, in fact, I will give you my half kingdom. But you just give me your single Samaik full. But Punya Shalak said, compared to your this world and materialistic world, my Samaik full is very big. And my Samaik is, can, my Samaik full is irreplaceable. It doesn't give your world, this materialistic world, doesn't give me that happiness, that pleasure, which I get from my Samai. So I cannot give you my Samai. Sharik Maharaja requested him a lot, a lot. But Punya Shavak said, it is very irreplaceable. I, when I sit on the Katasa, when I do Samai, I feel that I am in the moksha. I have reached to the Siddha Shila. And Raji, you are not rich enough to buy my Samaik food. And Shalik Maharaja got very sad, very depressed. And then he returned to Prabhu Mahaviji. Then Bhagavan, he, 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 he said to Bhagwan, Bhagwan, I failed. No one is the living. 
my what about my next part where what i will do in bhagwan se shrey maharaj a karma se karma ne koi taali nahi shakti ye bhog bhuj pade yani whatever we do we have to bear it we can not run from it so before you bind any karma always be very clear with your intention when you do paap and if you do it with very khushi very and if you are appreciating it then it makes a mikachit karma it means that some fine day you will get punishment for it but if you feel no no yaar yeah, i should not do that why i did that that, that intensity will be more your intention will be less that that path can be removed you can wash that path you can break that path by doing dharma aradhana like tap like a uh, pratikraman like a uh, kausad etc and when you do punya if we see at the story if you if we look at the story kapila dase did die but she gained any punya yes no show me your thumbs up and thumbs down she gained any punya she gained any punya no why no anyone why she didn't gain any punya why she didn't get any punya after even doing that can anyone tell me yes rikhav please uh, unmute yes. yourself beta rikhavsha what was the question again kapila dad kapila dasi gave the but she gained any punya yes or no no she did not Why? gain any Why? Be, because um when she was thinking that no that this maharaj is the one that's giving all this stuff and she was thinking very bad she was not thinking good that i'm donating okay so when we do pap our intention should not be very high always we should feel regret about it okay and when you do punya do it with very pure heart when you do samay always praise it are va today i did samay even after doing pratikrama if you think thank god it's over now so punya vadu jatu re tamne kashu punya na bol da so when you do punya always appreciate it okay always do its anumodana okay and this is how shrek maharaja uh uh could not read of his first narak right now shrek maharaja is in the our uh, is in the first narak and after completing his ayushya he will be our first tirthankar for our next job is okay thumbs up everyone so so let us play the game now it's a game time do you want to play i'm the kid yes no show me some ex excitement hello who wants to play the game who wants to play thumbs up everyone come on tell me who wants to play the game oh yes so now it's a game time so today what we are going to play is pictionary so today we will play pictionary game so in that let me share that screen now nisha ben kush who ben are there yeah 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 Hello did you go away 
because you will get only one chance uh she's uh, unmute i guess and you need to click the raise hand button on your laptop okay am i audible now yes you yeah. are audible okay today we are going to play pictionary do you know how to play play pictionary If you know, please uh, two thumbs up. And even knows it how to play. It? Okay. So what we are going to do is, I will show you some pictures. Okay. So you have to memorize it. That how it looks. What is it means? Everything. Okay. And then I will spin the wheel. I will give you one word. And you have to draw it. You all have pen. pencils and uh, papers do you all have thumbs up kids if you don't have please and get it you have one minute please get the stuff all question yeah beta shall we go ahead Yeah, uh, is kids everybody ready? Thumbs up. Sakrit, you have a question. You raise your hand. So, what are the rules of pictionary? Yeah, I'm telling you, Bajaj. She will explain. She will explain. Okay. So, first of all, I will show you some pictures. You have to. remember it you have to memorize it with its name and with it look you must know how it looks okay then i will give one word for example colors so you have to draw that picture as good as possible okay and then if you think that now it is very nicely done you can click on the raise hand option okay as soon as you will click on the raise hand option nisha ben khushbu ben or uh, who else nisha yeah, nisha yeah uh, our moderators will check it okay and if you did it very nicely then you will get technos how many technos 50 technos if you are drawing will be the best you will get a chance to think about it for four or five sentences okay and two other there will be three winners for each picture okay and first uh, first uh, winner will get 50 technos and second and third will get 30 and 20 is it fine accordingly respectively yeah 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 okay, okay. so One. are you all clear krishi um, sha i think there's a question krishi sha sha not krishi anymore man manasi manasi manasmi sha okay yeah um what if you don't want to say the four or five sentences Techno. Read the instruction. Try to memorize the upakaram that I show on the screen. Um, excuse me. Like... Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, kids, are you ready? Now I'm showing you the pictures. First of all, just look at it and try to remember it. Try to memorize it. Right now you don't have to draw. I will tell you later on what you have to draw. Then only. Okay. So please stop erasing, drawing, whatever you are doing. Okay. So I'm showing here you. 
This is our Bhagwan. Okay. Second is a board. Look at it nicely, huh? Third is bottle. Fourth is charmer. This is charmer. We did charmer and rutya in Askari Puja, if you remember, on Monday. So this is charmer. This is charavla. When we do Samai or Pratikrama, we use it, right? This is charavla. This is clouds. It is not compulsory that you have to draw exactly the same. But your drawing should be very nice, clean and uh, a good one. And related. This is Derasa. This is Dvaja. Everyone knows what is Dvaja? This is Diya, Divo. This is House. This is Kalash. We use this for doing Praksha. This is mountains. This is Pankho. We use it in Ashtrikari Puja. This is Patra, which Maharasab uses for uh, get it, getting food and uh, for uh, when, he, when he goes for the Kochvi, he gets food in this Patra. Pushpa. So when I say Pushpa, you have to draw flowers. Best one uh, whose drawing will be the best, uh, he or she will get the first rank and 50 death notes. The next one is Katya. This is Sapdo on which we put our book. We keep our book. This is school bag. This is Siddhashila. This is Mosh. Everybody please remember the names. This is Sun. Very easy. And this is Moon. Okay. Quickly I'm uh, again showing you. Bhagwan. Boat, bottle, chamar, charavla, clouds, darpan. This is known as a darpan, the mirror that we use while uh, doing Ashtaprakari Puja. This is terasa, this is dhaja, this is diya. This is house, this is Kalash, mountains, Pankho, Patra, Pushp, Satya, Tapado, Skulbar, Siddhashila, Sun and Moon. So, are you ready with your pencil? And eraser, scale, papers, everything. Okay. Shall we go ahead? Little man, uh, yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. You guys ready? Thumbs up, kids. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, we can go ahead. Our first word is Be ready, huh? Okay. Be ready with your pencil and tool. Your first word is the bird. Your first word is the bird. Fast, come on. First reader, raise their hand. We'll get it. Yaksha. 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 Okay. Prisha sha diva kamdar. Okay. That's it. Yaksh Prisha Diva. Please show your drawings on the screen. So Kushbu Ben and Nitil Ben and Nisha Ben can check. So Yaksha, you need to have on mute. Can you make him spotlight? Um, we'll put you in spotlight. So that way everybody can see because I'm on my phone. Okay. So you can start with Diva or uh, the Yaksh? Yaksh is already going. Now Prisha Shah. No, Yaksh is there. Yeah, I already, Yaksh is already done. Yeah? Oh, okay. But uh, did you say, saw his? Yeah, I saw. You can see it on here. He's on spotlight. Oh, I don't see. Okay, just scroll down. Or maybe it's only okay. my phone here. Okay. So, Maitri, can you want him to say a few sentences? Yeah. Yeah. He has to say. Yeah, go ahead, beta. Say uh, four to five sentences for the turban. Okay. Yaksh, you are unmuted. Uh, yaksh, you can say four to five. Okay. Okay. So, like much. We use the we use darpan at temple in Asapakari puja. We also use it at home, like when we're like. Wait, when we're doing, uh... Okay, you want to go ahead with the second sentence, other sentence, Peter? Can, can someone else can go ahead? Okay. Okay. Diva? Diva, come down. Okay, someone already put her in spotlight. Oh, and I'll unmute her. So, shall we go ahead? Okay, Diva, can you see your four to five sentences? So, this thing, this is the thing that we um, show at the mirror to see Bhagwan. The mirror is to see Bhagwan, and this, this is the thing that we... Um, wave at the mirror so that we can do it at to Bhagwan and this is and we use these at the east in Ashtaprakari Puja and in the temple when we're doing darshan. Okay. Well let's go ahead because it is already nine for the time. Shall we? Uh Prishano Taigo? So uh Prishano Taigo and a fifteen, eh? Technos? No, uh, so the, who is the first one then? So the, she was Diva. First one? Yeah, because Yaksh didn't say anything. Okay, so, so Diva is getting, getting the first one, one for 50? It was Yaksh Prisha Diva. Yeah, so Prisha is getting 50, right then? Who no, just showed was, it? This was Diva yeah. Kamdar. showed it. Oh, this is Diva Kandar. Okay. Yeah, Prisha didn't read it. So we have to do, uh, go with Prisha also. Yeah. Prisha, did you raise your hand? Prisha Shah? Where is she? I put her on spotlight. Yep. Okay. Prisha, can you see your four to five sentences if we've unmuted her? Um, so, um, so, okay. So we uh, do the the pan in the, the raster and we put the 
like the thing right over here. We put that at our heart, and then um, it's like we want our we want Bhagwan to be in our heart, and we're just doing fanning. And we're fanning it. Right. Okay, so now we have to choose third one, right? Yeah, third one is I guess Arnasha then. Yeah, Arnasha, go ahead, beta. Arna, click. So yeah, this got is it. um the telephone that I drew. Sentences is like it. Okay, I'm time. This is like the yeah. thing yeah. that, and this is like the thing she where you can see the god, and this is the thing that you shake. And, okay. and you and it's Bhav Puja. Yeah, hmm. good, Peter. So you are the third one. So first one is the Prisha, second Diva, and third Arna. Okay, uh, very well. Very go ahead with the second uh, word. Okay. So the second word is Boronitavet. Which number you'd like to open? Okay. How about one, seven three, career. thirteen? Uh, okay, sorry, okay. Prisha. Go ahead. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen career. So. Thirteen. Ha. Jee, you don't want to do it. Charavlo. Come on, Ooh. fast kids. Bro, Charavlo. Behel Sha, Riki, Rikav Sha, Shreyan Sha. We got Behel one. So fast. Okay, Pahal, first one is Pala Pahal Che. Pala Pahal Che. Pahal. Just, um, hey kids, do this. Only quickly describe the item that you all drew, whichever item comes to you, like whichever item you drew. Quickly describe that so that way we can move on with the game and you can earn more techno points. Yes. We use this doing Samak in where like the Mara Sab is there and we do um, the, when, yeah. That's where we use a terrible. Okay. Good job. Next we have recall. Next recall and then Shreya. Go ahead, recall. Okay. Is he not on? on is he not unmuted? Yeah. So, so th this is a terrible, and we sometimes see it in the temple. And we use it to do Samaik and Pratikamar. Good job, Peter. Good job. Next, we have Shreyan. Put him in spot. Maybe a little fast. Shreyan, Peter, go ahead. This is a Chagra. And we use it to do, we use it to do Samaik. We also use it to do Pratikamar. And we also use it like to do uh yeah i think that's it i don't know what else we use it for okay so first one is pahal second one is 142 i'm uh, sorry i don't know his name and third Rikha. one is Shreya and Shreya. Yeah. yeah pahal Rikha, okay. and Shreyan. okay uh, my three ben okay, for the third one Mahasha. Mahasha, unmute yourself beta please unmute yourself pahal why uh, okay, so let us go with nine numbers. Dera sir, quickly, Dera sir. So we Fast. have Bihan, we can draw it. Oh, oh, 144, Yashi Kamdar, Ari Hasha. Right. 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 Um, this is the temple, and we go there for praying to God, or sometimes in Pratikaman, and we go for lots of stuff here. Okay, next we have Yashi Kamda. And then Arihasha. I could have put in some designs. Click unmute, beta. So the temple, um, this is a Dinasa. So it, um, it has, he goes there to, um, to, uh, do, to do, um, like, 
squares and stuff. And there's like a flag on top. Good. When we see the flag, we have Namo Gina. Okay, perfect. Okay. Aria, go ahead, beta. Can you hear me? Yeah, beta. Okay. This is the temple, and we go in the temple to do darshan to Bhagwan. We we can do three pujas there. We also can do there Samvatsari Pratikaman, and we can we come back and when we see the flag of the temple, we say Namo Jinana. Very well. Good job. So first one is one zero six. Second one is one four four, and third one is one one one. Correct. Okay. Go ahead with the fourth word, Mithi. Wait, 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 one second. Okay. Bolo, Nita, khushbu be. Which number would you like to open? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, and the next word is be ready. Bottle. Fast. Bottle. Draw bottle. Wow. Shreyan Rika Yashi. Uh, Yashi. Shreyan Rika Yashi. Shreyan, you're on spotlight. And I believe I'm um, reading. This is a bottle. You can't see it. You need to close the. You need to close the virtual background. Yeah. This is a bottle, and you need to uh, use it. Like if we go somewhere and there's no water fountains, we drink. Uh, we fill your water. You fill your water in it before you go somewhere, and then you drink it whenever you're like thirsty. Okay. Okay, so, um, uh, and then it was Rikov, and then Yashi. So, this is a bottle. So, this is the bottle, and we can put Ukade Lupani in it and take it to the temple, or we, or we also take it to school, too. Okay, good. good. Next one is okay. Yashi Kambar. Um, so I drew a small bottle. Um, you can drink boiled water in it. And yeah. Okay. 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 So, we have our okay. videos? Yeah. So first one is uh, 138, second one is 142, and third one is 144. I don't know if that's the number okay. order. I just know the name. Yeah. And uh, okay. I think we just have one last uh, option. One, so, we have time for only one uh, more, right? Yeah. So, come on fast. Please draw sun. Fast. Bandari Vivan Mehi Jain Pahal oh, oh. Shah. Vivan Bandari Mehi Jain Pahal Shah. Vivan, you're on spotlight. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Yeah, uh, I did that one. Okay. Drawing and okay. Drawing only. I mean, sun, Mate, I was drawing. That's fine. I mean, sun. <laughs> yeah. Banda, oh, Vivan, you got it. Next was Mihik Jain and then Pahal Shah. Show your picture, okay. Peter. Your eyes spotlighted them. This is Mihik Jain. Yeah, and now Pahal Shah. Pahal Shah. Okay, someone already spotlighted him. Pahal, can you quickly show us your son? Wow. Okay, all three of them. So that is numbers. Uh, first one oh, is 106, uh, second one is 136, and third one is 151. Okay. Okay. Should I go ahead? Oh. Okay, yeah. next word is... Pushpa. Flower. Draw flower. Yaksha, Rikosha, Kesha Jain, and Anushka Jain. Yaksha, Rikosha. Can someone put Yash Yaksha on? Oh, I got it. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, wow. Nice. So, flower is basically you put on Bhagwan and the flower smell 
is really good. And there's also a puja that is flowers. Good. Good. Good, Beta. Next Recove is, I think, a recov, right? Recov, yeah. So here I've, um, I drew a flower and we use it for Pushpa Puja and our Astapakadi Puja and we put it on the Bhagavan. And next um, we have Keisha. Keisha and Anushka. Where did they go? Did they lower their hand? No, no, I did, but uh, I, un yeah, go ahead, Beta. Gaja. No, why is Shreyan on? Gisha should be on. Draw Gaja. Might have been eight minutes, huh? Okay, sorry. Yeah, take a time, please. Gisha, Anishka. It's all right if you can't say whatever you're going to say. Show us the photo. You can see half of it. Hello? Okay, oh. I see it. Cool. Give it to, I think that's Keisha Shah. Keisha J. Uh, one, one, two, and it's really nice. Okay, Keisha, 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 Keisha. Hello? 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 Wait, why is it breaking up? Uh, it's from I think from my friend side. Okay, break tight. So I so gave first I one to one, one two, one two is one fifty one and third one is one hundred eight. Four Daja? Yeah, four Daja. Yeah, four Daja. Okay. Um okay. I think what we should do now. Yeah. Do we lower do the everybody can then we can go ahead with another? With another. Yeah, here guys, if you all still want to play, do this. Put it down up. Nobody's putting a thumbs up. Uh, Shall I continue it now? Yeah, my three pen. Okay. okay. Yeah. Everyone, please join your hands. Please join your hands. Close your eyes. It's time for prayer. Please, everyone, join your hands. Please put down your uh, pencil, erasers. Please, okay. Those are Mahano, Okay, Pranam, Sajinendra, take care. Sajinendra, thank you, Maitri Ben. Thank you. Thank you, Maitri Ben. Thank you, Maitri Auntie. Thank you. Sajinendra, Pranam.